Hello and welcome to Dasmod Water Cooling Channel. Today I would like to give you some update of some new parts I get for my orange water cooling build. And this is the three things I'd like to show you. One, uh, that's something we purchased ourselves. This is a Intel 520 series uh, SSD drive. Uh, this is more than enough for my needs because the computer will be used as a, our test bench later on and uh, all software and uh, benchmark things uh, more than enough to put on one drive so I don't need anything like massive in terms of the storage area. Uh, another thing that we get is a little support from our friends of TFC so they got us some uh, liquid that help us to make this build successful. It's very nice, not sure if it's UV reactive but it definitely will help and we'll put it in good use this weekend, believe me. And the most exciting thing of the week, we got sponsorship from uh, Gigabyte and everybody knows that they're releasing very exciting high-end board called X58OC and this board is perfectly matching the, our color scheme of the case as you see we're building orange case for those who don't know and uh, I wanted this board because it's, it's first of all it's high-end board second of all it will fit very nicely what we're trying to achieve in terms of the looks and visuals. So, this is the box that I got today. It's straight from the factory. It's not available yet at retailers, so uh, basically we got it in advance and thank you very much for Gigabyte to providing it uh, for us, uh, you know, beforehand we, we got it faster than we could if we purchased it directly. So this is the box, how it looks, very flashy, lots of orange and black things, uh, uh, lots of marketing stuff written around it, so the box itself is very very nice. I would tell you, I haven't been excited for a while about motherboards, and last time I was, it actually was as far as three years ago with a maximum board, which was pretty interesting release, uh, <coughs> and um, it was pretty cool. But this one is light years ahead, uh, because it's a new technology, obviously. And uh, let's see what we have here. So, a uh, box inside is just a white box, and uh, this internals. The top box here is uh, actually the board itself, and I put it for a second. And let's look what accessories we have here. I'm not sure if it's correct set of accessories because this board was basically just get released. It's only start hitting shelves in the next uh, few weeks. So, um, possibly it will be something else. But what I got here is a quick installation guide. Actual the manual itself. I have two sets of SATA drives here. Do you see that? Uh, backplate for connections, usual set of the bridges for SLI and crossfire, a few, few packages, CD with drivers, and the last thing that is not uh, something you get usually with a, with a board is a set of probes or voltages, so you actually can connect those probes directly to the uh, motherboard connections and uh, for people who do really serious overflowing with liquid nitrogen and stuff like this, which I personally don't do, uh, this is definitely something nice to have. So let's leave uh, accessories aside for now and uh, let's look on the board. Alright, pretty heavy. That's the board itself. Let me find how I can open that and uh, let's pull it out. So this is a board, it has some interesting features, I read a little bit about it. I, I'm not a pro in, in motherboard so I'm not trying to pretend to be a super guru here but I give you some ideas. First of all for my main purposes why I wanted this board because I wanted it to match my case and you can see the color looks pretty nicely, very close very close. So this is already big thing, so it will look just fantastic inside of this case. So what we have here, um, there are no water block available for this board at this point, so I will stay with uh, all the standard cooling. It seems that uh, we have some power connection on both coolers here and there, so there is, I, I can't see through, but so I, I assume that 
those screws either have some fans built in or maybe some um, LEDs that will give some glow similar to G1 board. So this is this part. Uh, one of the features, because this board was designed specifically by for the Gigabyte for overclockers, you see the area around CPU is huge, there are no clutter around. So if you do things like, uh, again, li liquid uh, nitrogen cooling, so I have a lot of space to put your insulation around the CPU area, around the every uh, graphical card, so this uh, much makes life much easier as I can assume. And also it's very nice in terms of you can put basically any kind of cooler here, doesn't matter it's water cooling or air cooler, uh, it will be enough clearance uh, around the area so you don't hit anything. Like we had issues, if you remember, for example with the uh, coolant block 360, when it was released it was hitting some, some components on motherboard, so in this case this is any cooler will fit this motherboard, which is very nice. So, what we have here, uh, four slots for uh, PCI graphical cards. Uh, they spaced uh, um, either no odd numbers. So, it's one is the first one is a 16 speed and 8, 16, and 8. So, which is means for water coolers. So, if you use dual. Uh, let's say SLI connection like we will do with our two graphical cards we already have in so I will have to skip one slot and again it means that when I water cool it and I need to use a connection between two cards I will need to make sure that uh, my connection is uh, slot 1 and 3 and it's long enough for the tubing um, I can't say it's like plus or minus it's just what it is and when you plan and buy your water cooling parts you, you just need to know it to do it correctly so what else we have here, uh, in terms of the storage, we have as usual six uh, connectors for SATA 2 and two connectors for SATA 3 over here. For, uh, six connections for the memory, triple channel. Uh, what we have in the overclocking area, that uh, I'll try to give you a little bit closer look. So some manual overclocking buttons here, the same as uh, some other high-end boards, which is actually very great for our case because when we will test water cooling we can with the press of one button uh, switch between uh, overclocked and over overclocked um, configuration. Moreover, you actually can uh, control overclocking level straight from the board without going to the BIOS, so it's, uh, you can uh, change uh, your frequency and the clock speed just going through the uh, those buttons and uh, one of the buttons also allows to uh, change the amount of uh, um, overclocking you go from uh, 0 0.3 or 1 uh, gigahertz uh, megahertz frequency so that's a little bit more tuning uh, I don't know if you can see uh, on the camera but this is all your voltage uh, probes here that the cables, little cables I'll show you so you can connect them directly over here uh, the normal um, indicator on a motherboard uh, the same as uh, any other gigabyte boards uh, you might have uh, the same the same style I have with my extreme right now uh, interesting features that is, there's two biases and you can switch a uh, little switch uh, on the board here and go between one bias or other and uh, the bias actually is somewhere in this area and you have two little LEDs that will show you uh, which uh, bias actually is used in this point one or two so it's some visuals confirmation one little thing that I love about this board that what they did they move audio connector for the front um, uh, in uh, all this uh, jacks on the front of the case and the bottom of the board normally you have it I don't know for whatever reason always have it somewhere here Right, right near to the one of the PCI slots. So running this cable is always like really stupid. I don't know why they they did it this way, uh, but uh, in this case you can run cable not across the entire board for your vid uh, audio video connections and USB front USB. Um, or actually, it's, you normally normally it's not there. But anyway, so uh, audio is going here, which is really really nice. And uh, all connectors for the uh, fans, they all four pins, so it's a power management type of connectors. Um, don't always make any difference because I usually use 
um, external controller, but nevertheless you have tons of those, so one, two, three, four, five, or something like this. Uh, back of the motherboard are uh, relatively simplistic, all you have, you have, surprise, surprise, still traditional uh, connectors for motherboard, uh, f sorry, for keyboard and, and mouse, plus uh, USB stuff and uh, only s uh, simple connections for the audio, which I guess not the case when you're looking for uh, overclocking board, so the audio video not that important. Uh, there's what else? Uh, another interesting feature that I haven't seen other boards, but again, I'm not an uh, expert here. You actually can put additional power onto your um, PCI slot. So if you want to go, like, you need more voltage here, so there's a two connectors that allow you to get more more power to, to the graphical card, as well as if you're looking for the power uh, that goes to the CPU, it's two uh, two connectors for um, ATX 12 volts. So, so basically, again, you can get more juice to your CPU as well. So now we know what kind of uh, CPU we're going to get. We need to get the uh, LG A1366 to proceed uh, with our build, and uh, probably will take another week. And after that, I will have all components that I need to continue with my build.